Trump administration to impose crushing sanctions on Iran in defiance of European humanitarian concerns The Trump administration has decided to impose new sanctions on Iran's financial sector in defiance of European allies who warned that the move could have devastating humanitarian consequences on a country reeling from the novel coronavirus and an ongoing currency crisis, three officials familiar with the decision said Wednesday. The measures will target the few remaining banks not currently subject to secondary sanctions in a move European governments say is likely to diminish channels Iran uses to import humanitarian goods, such as food and medicine, officials said. Defenders of the plan, which is expected to be announced on Thursday, say further isolating Iranian commerce fits with the Trump administration's efforts to crush the Iranian economy, to bring Tehran to the negotiating table, a strategy that has not panned out yet. They also say the Treasury Department can mitigate the humanitarian consequences by issuing letters to companies permitting certain sales. The move represents a major pre-election push on a signature Trump administration policy that has succeeded in devastating the Iranian economy while failing to moderate Tehran's behavior or limit its nuclear program. Since President Trump withdrew from the Iran nuclear deal in 2018, Tehran has exceeded the limits of the agreement and enriched more uranium than it did before the accord's signing. U.S. officials in Iraq have also experienced an uptick in rocket fire and other attacks by Iranian-backed militias. The proposal to blacklist the entire Iranian financial industry has been pushed by Israeli officials and the Foundation for Defense of Democracies, a hawkish U.S. nonprofit organization that has advocated for regime change in Iran. To land a 12th round economic knockout, it's time for Mr. Trump to throw one more punch, blacklist the entire Iranian financial industry, wrote the foundation's Mark Dubowitz and Richard Goldberg in an August 25 opinion piece for The Wall Street Journal. The action relies on an executive order Trump issued in January giving Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and Treasury Secretary Stephen Nutchin broad authority to sanction any part of Iran's economy. Some Iran hawks say they hope the move will finally collapse an Iranian economy already squeezed by lost oil sales and a vast array of U.S. sanctions imposed on the country after Trump withdrew from the deal. The Trump administration was initially cool to the idea, but the combined lobbying efforts of Iran hawks and a growing chorus of GOP lawmakers, including SENS, Ted Cruz, Tex, and Tom Cotton, Arkansas, succeeded in advancing the policy, officials said. The State Department and Treasury Department declined to comment. Other officials spoke on the condition of anonymity to discuss U.S. policy. Opposition to the move inside and outside the Trump administration is related to the delivery of humanitarian goods to the country. Last year, Iran imported $1 billion worth of medical goods and grain worth $3.5 billion. European officials worry that, if the remaining Iranian banks are sanctioned, Iran's foreign assets would be de facto frozen, thus further exacerbating the shortage of foreign currency to pay for humanitarian imports, a senior European official said. The concern has always been that sanctions simply criminalize all financial engagement with Iran, said Suzanne Maloney, an Iran expert at the Brookings Institution. The biggest concerns have been around medicine and medical devices. There have been shortages of basic drugs such as insulin and specialized chemotherapy and other life-saving treatments. As the toll of sanctions has widened, this has intensified.